All right, so let's play around with some other queries here. I'm having fun. Um, I, I should probably stop now, but I don't want to. I'm having so much fun. So let's play around with a couple of more queries. So in this example, I want to query the students uh, the last name of Doe or first name of Daffy. Okay, so we're going to make use of the or predicate uh, in our where clause. So I'll kind of break this up on multiple lines because the, the query itself is going to be kind of long. So here I'll say session que create query. I'll say from student. So from student s where s dot last name equals doe. So I'll put that down on a separate line or s dot first name equals Daffy. Put that in quotes. And then I do a dot dot list on that. And semicolon. Uh, the important thing on this query on line 45 is where you have s dot last name. Uh, make sure you have a space um, before that s dot last name because it's on a separate line, but you still need to have a space so that's for the query to work out okay. All right, but anyway, there's the piece there. So the qu create query, um, last name equals Doe or uh, first name equals Daffy. And now I simply want to display the students. I simply did a little copy paste from up top. So here um, I copy pasted from lines 39 and 40 and I just pasted them down here at the bottom. And now I'm just tightening them up or updating that to say last name of Doe or first name of Daffy. All right, so that's our query. Let's try this one out again. Uh, let's run the application one more time. And like looking at this new section, hmm, looking pretty good here, pretty fancy. So we have uh, the student with last name of Doe or the first name of Daffy. Woohoo, I like it. I like it. You're getting pretty fancy on me here. Don't know what I'm going to do with you. All right, so again, as you can tell, I'm having fun here. And I'm going to write one more query. I should probably stop now, but I can't. One more query. And I want to, I want to make use of the like clause here. So the like clause where I check their email address to see if their email ends with lovetocode.com. So that's what I'll do here in this section. So I'll just give myself some white space, a little room to play around with here. All right, so that's the idea of the query where the email like love to code.com meaning it ends with love to code.com. So again, session create query. And drop in my query, my HQL for hibernate query language. So here I just do, I break it up into two lines here where S dot email yeah let me just break it up right here that's probably better yeah okay so s dot email like and then i'll do uh, single quotes and then percent love to code dot com so that presents the wild card meaning um the email address ends with love to code dot com and i do a list so that'll give me all the love to code type people and i have a typo or some error on line 51 hmm, what's up with that Okay, yeah. Instead of students, it should be the students. All right, I used the wrong variable name there. All right, so I just simply changed that to the students, and that solved that problem. Woo! Got a little scared there for a second. All right, now have the query. I have the students now. Simply want to display them. So display students, and I pass in the students, just like we've done before. So this little section of code here handles our like clause with finding email addresses that end with or finding students with an email address that ends with love to code.com love to code. And I'll do a little print line here just so I know that what we're, uh, what we're viewing. So a little copy paste and students who have last name or I'm sorry, who have an email ends with love to code.com. So I just copied line 47 and I put it down here on line 54 and just updated it accordingly. 
All right, so let's save this and also let's go ahead and run this one. All right, so once we run it here, we can check the output. And this is gonna be in that last section here at the bottom. So students who email ends with let's code.com and surprise, surprise, it's all the students. <laughs> Okay, so you're like, all right, well, everyone has left the code.com. That's, you know, not much of a deal. All right, so let's go back and change it. So instead of love to code.com, let's change our email address that we're looking for. So I'll say we're email like gmail.com. All right, because our data set here is a little different. It's biased towards love to code, but here, Gmail. So I just simply updated the query on line 5152 updated the little comments and print line statements. And uh, so now here, the key thing here is on line 52 uh, percent gmail.com. So we'll find those students whose email ends with gmail.com. And based on our data set, there's nothing, right? So we run this again. We'll look at our console output. And at the bottom right here, students whose email ends with gmail.com nothing nada okay so uh, all of our folks would love to code right so anyway just want to show you and verify and confirm that hey we are actually processing that and the light clause is working as desired no black magic no smoke and mirrors the real deal the real deal all right so good so we went through all the different hql um, examples a regular sql making use of aware clause making use of or and then finally we did a like and there's a lot of other examples out there you can work with but this is enough to get you started with doing queries good job congratulations i'll see you in the next video